All right, sir, welcome to your naturalization exam. My name is Officer Officer, and uh, today we're going to be doing two parts, reading, speaking, and writing, and the civics exam. Before we begin, we got to get you sworn in. Everything you see in here is recorded, and it is going to be recorded for posterity. So why don't you go ahead and stand up, put your right hand up, and say whether you agree with the following. I swear to tell the truth, nothing but the truth, only the truth, so help me, whatever unsparing, angry, overpowered, but under-invested God I believe in. I, I, I do. Excellent. Now, please sit down. Okay. Uh, we are now going to begin the reading, speaking, and writing portion of this exam. Uh, it's important for you to know if there's something you don't understand. For example, you can't understand what I'm saying, and you don't understand the question that I'm asking you to answer, or that... The thing that I'm asking you to write, you can just say pass, and I'll give you another question, or you can just say please repeat the question. It's up to you. Is that understood? Uh, yes, that is that is understood. All right. Well, that's understood. Let's begin with reading. I got something here for you to read, and you just go ahead and tell me what it says. Oh, sir, this isn't English. This, this is Chinese. It says, uh, this is Chinese. You're correct about that. You know, not everybody gets that correct the first time. Oh, really? Really? So, so did I pass? Not yet. You do still have to read something. Of course. Of course. All right. Go ahead and read this. You want me to read this, right? Okay. My life is brilliant. My love is pure. I saw an angel. Of that, I'm sure. She smiled at me on the subway. This is James Blunt. Yeah, okay. She was with another man. He sings really high. I don't think I can do it. But I won't lose no sleep on that. Because I've got a plan. I mean, this, right, it's James Blunt for sure, right? Like USCIS uses James Blunt? Yes. But he's British, though, right? He's, he's British, not American. Well, if it's British, it's American. Most of the time. That doesn't make any sense. Well, let, let's keep moving. For your next trick, you'll have to answer a couple of questions so I can gauge your speaking ability, and then you'll have to write something for me so I can gauge your writing ability. Does that does that sound like something you can do? I, I do. I think. V very well. Well, sir, let's, let's proceed. Now, please answer the following question. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could only chuck two chucks of wood every 30 minutes, but he only had 15 minutes any day to chuck wood because his chucking days were long gone since he's a 45-year-old man that doesn't have much time in a day since he's got to take care of kids, go to work, come back from work, take care of more kids, walk the dog, and that's it. Pass. Very good. Well, your replacement question is, how was your day today, sir? My day was fine. Uh, thank you. How, how was yours? Very good, sir. You have passed the question and ask part of the interview. You speak very well. I did? Yes, you did. And now, we will move on to the writing portion. Did you bring a black fountain pen, mister? I did not. Well, that's just fine. You can use this crayon. Hmm, mighty orange, my favorite. So what I want you to do is take that crayon and write the first scene of one of the most famous American novels of all time, 
A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. I want you to write the first sentence of that novel. You got two minutes. Charles Dickens, Tale of Two Cities, 1859. Everybody knows it. Go. I understand you're nervous. So I'll tell you what, I'll give you the first part of the opening sentence and all you gotta do is finish it for me. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light, it was the season of darkness. It was the spring of hope, it was the winter of Turkey? I'll be honest with you, sir. Turkey was not the perfect answer. Despair, as in the winter of despair, would have been the perfect answer. But your choice of word did move me in a way I can only describe as American. There's little else more American than turkey. You pass that portion of the exam, sir. Pass, pass, pass. Thank you. All right, now we will move on to the second portion of the exam, the civic examination. I'm gonna ask you 10 questions. You gotta get six right. I just, before I will begin, I wanna make sure I'm asking you appropriate questions. You are familiar, of course, sir, with the great but short-careered fifth vice president of the United States, Elbridge Gary, are you not? Pass. 